Hi there, howdy. My name is John, and this video is a review of the book The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. This book has gotten a lot of hype on BookTube. When I decided to start reading some more modern fantasy, I knew that this was one of the books that I would need to read. So is this book worth the hype? In short, the answer is no. I understand why people love this novel. Winters has a very engaging writing style. He writes action scenes very well. Winters is a good storyteller. I can very easily see a premium cable company giving this book a 10 episode series and people really enjoying it. I personally didn't find Tao, the main character, to be likable, but I still sympathize with him. My problem with this novel comes down to the world building. Winter made some interesting decisions when he developed this world. However, in my opinion, I don't think he thought those decisions through well enough to create a believable world. Because I did not find the world to be believable, I really struggled with the ending of this novel as well. To me, the ending of this novel is just a mess. Again, it would make for great television. It makes for great reading as long as you're not analyzing it too carefully. But it really, it wasn't a good ending in my opinion. I really struggled to come up with a rating for this novel. As I mentioned, it's very readable. As long as you're willing to kind of go along with the flow, the pages turn really quickly. My problem is, is I don't know how to weigh that against what I think is kind of subpar world building. I finally decided to give this novel four stars. I do anticipate that Winter will become a better world builder as he writes more novels. I have no intention of reading any more in this series until it becomes a completed series. When the last book comes out, I may pick uh, pick it back up again and read through the series to see how he progresses. There is a glossary of terms in the back of the novel, and if you decide to read it, I do suggest making frequent use of that glossary. I know that I had to, because Winter does use some unusual words to describe kind of commonplace items. So... Once you kind of adjust to that, you won't need the glossary as much, but you know, it's there for a reason. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.